up guys, the phenomenal AJ Styles, and you're watching Bretto Live. What is going on guys, Bretto Live back with another video, and today we are going to be talking about some of my rarest figures. It's going to be two separate parts to this video. One part is going to be my rarest loose figures, meaning they're out of the packaging. And the second part of the video is going to be my rarest mock figures, meaning mint on card, meaning in the package. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and show some of my rarest loose figures. But before we do that, let me know the rarest Mattel WWE figure you have in your collection. I'm curious. Drop it down in the comment section down below. You got some time. I I I'll stall for a second. You got some time. Scroll down. Let me know your rarest figure in your collection. I'm curious. Into the loose figures. There is no particular order to the list whatsoever. First up, we have the best of pay-per-views Elite Tours Us exclusive Sin Cara. This figure sells loose for around $45. If you have it mock, it goes for a whopping 110. It's an awesome figure with a really nice red and white color scheme. Another Sin Cara jumping in from Elite Series 18 with a white and gold color scheme. If you have this figure out of box, this figure goes for around 50 bucks. In box, you're talking a solid $90. I would say that's a pretty rare figure. AEW Jazz was recently announcing a Supreme Sting. Here is the defining moment Sting. What a classic figure right here. If you have this figure in box, you're talking a whopping 100 $25 in mint on card packaging. If you have this figure out of box with all the accessories, the trench coat and the bat, you're going to be talking around $70. The Fan Central Big Show. What a classic figure. The last Toys R Us exclusive line that was in Toys R Us was the Fan Central series. This Big Show sells for $110 mock. And if you have it, Mint, but out of box, you're going to be talking around 80 bucks if you have the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal Trophy. Battle Pack Series 2 Hornswoggle. That is where this figure came from. It took me a minute to figure it out. He came in a Battle Pack with Finley Series 2. If you have the Battle Pack mock, which it's very rare to find, $150. How crazy is that? If you have the Hornswoggle only, you're talking 80 bucks out of box. How crazy is that? It's in really good condition. I use it for a bunch of different shorts on my YouTube channel, and it's a really freaking cool figure, man. WWE Elite Series 5 Chavo Guerrero. This figure, I couldn't even find a recent listing in the past 28 days that sold mint on card. So if I had to guess, I would guess this figure probably sells mint on card for around $200. But if you have it out of the box, it sells, with all the accessories, the headband and the poncho, it sells for a little over 100 bucks. I would say around $110. Uh, this is a freaking sick figure. Hard to find with both the headband and the poncho. The color scheme is Amazing. Ringside Collectibles exclusive Wolf Pack Macho Man Randy Savage. This figure mock sells roughly for around $160. Out of box, this figure is going to be selling for around $120. This is a figure that is worth a lot of money, whether it's in the box or out of the box. My goodness, what a cool figure. Another Ringside Collectibles exclusive figure right here. This is the DX Shawn Michaels Elite. This figure mock sells for $200. Out of box, it sells for $100. $100. What a sick figure. I remember getting this from Ringside Collectibles using discount code GRIM at checkout to save 10%. Now I have my own discount code, that being live. Feel free to use it at WrestleFigures.com. Next up, we do have Legend Series 4 X and Smash. These figures are ultra rare from Legend Series 4. Mint on card. I'll do both of them in a package deal here. So, if you have them both mint on card, you're going to be paying $400. Out of box, these figures will sell for around 150 each. Wow. Insane. These Here's the Hall of Fame Sting Target exclusive action figure. Mock. This figure sells for 80 bucks. Loose. With all the accessories, this figure sells for 60 bucks. The Ringside Collectibles exclusive Scott Hall with the white and the black. This figure mock sells for around 120 bucks. If you have it out of the box, you're going to be taking a little hit. It's going to be worth only 60 bucks with all the accessories. WWE Ultimate Edition Logan Paul sells for $150 mint on card. If you have it out of the box, he's going to be selling for 100 bucks. I do have them with custom accessories, so that might increase the value a little bit. Figure that took a big hit recently in value, the defining moment Stone Cold Steve Austin, of course, due to the new figure that was released in the Walmart exclusive Nitro versus Raw series. We saw a new Stone Cold very similar to this. This is the defining moments. This figure nowadays in box sells for $80. Out of box, he's going to be selling for $60. I remember this figure used to be like $200. Bucks. The Elite 16 Kevin Nash with the red and the black and the NWO Championship mock. 
you're gonna be talking around 100 to 120 bucks. Loose, you're gonna be talking around $80 for this figure. Really cool run. I remember being super excited to get this figure. Elite 16 CM Punk, one of the most sought after Elite CM Punks of all time, which I think they're gonna re release soon in an Ultimate Edition form, Money in the Bank 2011 attire. This figure, Mock, sells for around $150 nowadays. If you have it out of box, it's gonna be selling for around 60. This is the Ringside Collectibles exclusive ECW CM Punk. In Tonkar, card, this figure is gonna be selling for 150 bucks around. And if you have it out of the box with all the accessories, you're gonna be talking around $100. This is the Defining Moments Macho Man, which was supposed to be made in Ultimate Edition form recently, but it got canceled. In box, this figure is gonna be selling for around $80. Out of box, you're gonna be talking around 60. It's an awesome figure. Elite 13 Cody Rhodes is ultra rare. With the paper bag, the plastic mask, and this very unique material jacket right here, mint on card. I couldn't find any within the past 28 days that have been sold, but if I had to guess and I had to make a rough judgment on what this figure's worth in box, I would guess around $250. Out of box, you're going to be talking with all the accessories around $100 even. I did add the Intercontinental Championship. I do have the paper bag. The Elite 7 Hornswoggle! Mint on card, this figure sells for around $150 to $180. If you have it loose with the helmet, the claw shirt, and the little ladder, you're going to be talking around $100 fully complete. If the Elite Series 1 Jeff Hardy, no, mine is not real. It is a prototype, but my goodness, is it close to the real thing? The real thing in box is worth a couple thousand dollars. I know it's hard to believe. It's absolutely insane. Loose, real, Elite Series 1 uh, Jeff Hardy sells for around $250 to $300. Ringside Collectibles exclusive Wolfpack Sting. This is a very sought after figure right now. $200 mock. $150 loose with all the accessories. The Ultimate Edition Sergeant Slaughter, this figure in box sells for around $100. Of course, it varies if you have the variant packaging or not. If you have it loose, this figure sells for around $80. Very cool Ultimate Edition. We have the Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy. This figure mock sells for around $100. If you have it out of the box, it ranges between $90 and $80. Very cool Jeff Hardy Ultimate Edition. I just think the torso is a little too big for Jeff, but it's still a very cool figure when he won the WWE Championship. Ultimate Edition Amazon exclusive rock figure mock sells for around 160 bucks if you have him loose with all the accessories you're going to be ranging between like 100 and 110 dollars it's a pretty rare figure the ultimate edition finn balor mock he sells for around 80 bucks if you have him loose he's going to be selling for around 50 i consider that pretty rare really awesome ultimate edition they need another ultimate edition finn balor do the mania 39 attire please the elite four john morrison with the red coat this one in particular there's two versions there's one with a maroon we're going to talk about that next this morrison in box sells for around $150. If you have it loose, it's going to be selling for around $50. And then the maroon jacket, John Morrison. Yes, this is a variant, just a different color jacket. As far as the figure itself, nothing different about the figure. If you have this one mock, it's going to be selling for around $100. If you have it loose, it's going to be selling for around $40 to $50. The Elite Series 5, Vladimir Kozlov. I couldn't find any listings that sold within the past 28 days that were mock. So if I had to guess this figure selling mock, I would guess around $150 to $200. Uh, if you do have it loose with the strap, string and the jacket, all of the accessories. This figure is going to be selling for around 60 to 80. The Slim Jim Macho Man figure. This figure in the box sells between 150 and 200 dollars. I don't know why the prices are so off there, but people are paying 200, people are paying 150. I'm like, what the heck is going on? But if you have this figure loose, it's going to be selling for around $100 with the little Slim Jims as well right there. We got the Flash Ray Mysterio Ringside Collectibles exclusive action figure. This figure, mint on card, sells for around $200. Bucks. Used to be a lot more. And it loose sells for around $100 even. We have the Defining Moments Triple H, which in my opinion is one of the most underrated figures of all time. This figure is not talked about enough. This figure mock sells for $150. Bucks. Loose it sells for $100 with all the accessories. My goodness, is it cool. They need to remake this. They really do. This would be so such a cool remake. The Ringside Collectibles exclusive Brett the Hitman Hart. This figure took a hit when we got that new Ultimate Edition when it comes to value, but mock, you're still going to be getting 200 bucks for this figure, believe it or not. Loose, you're going to be pay you're going to be getting around 60, which is pretty crazy. It is still an awesome figure. My goodness, full pink attire. The Toys R Us exclusive mail out Vince McMahon, Mr. McMahon. This figure mock sells for around $200. If you have it loose, it still sells for around 150 to 100. Very rare suited figure. Probably the rarest suited figure 
figure we have ever gotten from Mattel. WWE Legends Elite Series 1, Hawk and Animal L-O-D, Mach, you're talking around $400, package deal, both of them together, Mach, $400. If they're loose, you're going to be talking around $200 bucks for both of them. I'd rather get them loose, they're cool out of package. The Ringside Collective Exclusive SES Straight Edge Society CM Punk figure, this figure still sells for around $600 mock. How insane is that? I have my loose one right here. Uh, so in the loose one, it normally sells for around 200 to 250 uh, around that range. Uh, this is freaking awesome. It's one of my favorite figures of all time. And uh, this is one that I don't think Mattel should re-release. Honestly, that's just my opinion. Make it SES Punk, but not this exact one. That's just my opinion. We have the All-Stars Elite CM Punk. I do have my custom pipe on one right here, which was made out of an All-Stars Elite CM Punk. I just thought I'd throw it in here. Uh, the all-Stars Elite CM Punk, if you have it in the battle pack with Stone Cold Steve Austin, you're going to be getting around 250 bucks for the battle pack. Mock. But if you have just the CM Punk, you're going to be getting around $100. If you do have the custom pipe arm accessories, I didn't see any of those listings. I would assume you're probably going to get around like 130 That's just a personal guess. Um, but yeah. Crazy cool figure. Very iconic. WWE Elite Series 30 Animal. We'll start with him because they have different prices when it comes to mock. We have a Hawk and Animal. LOD. Animal himself sells for around $130. Mock. If you have Animal loose, you're going to be getting around 100 bucks still, which is pretty cool. Hawk, on the other hand, if you have a mock, you're going to be getting around $80. If you have him loose, you're going to be getting around $60. That's with all of accessories. For the WWE Elite. Legends, Rockers, Shawn Michaels, and Marty Jannetty. These figures mock you're going to be getting around 250 bucks. If you have them loose, you're going to be getting around 150 With all the accessories, you got to remember the little uh, zebra belt and the awesome cloth shirts. Very, very cool color schemes. My goodness. For the Ringside Collective Exclusive Rated R Championship Edge figure, which sells for around $100 to $120 loose. If you have it mock, you're going to be getting around 150 between 150 and 200 Some people were brand 200 mock some people were paying 150 mock it was sort of all over the place this figure out of the box though wow posing him with that title freaking awesome figure this is a great edge the og wrestlemania 25 defining moment Shawn michaels sells for around 200 dollars mock how crazy is that and this figure still sells for around $125 out of box if you have them all the, with all the accessories and in good condition. This is a figure I think they should remake. This is one of the coolest Shawn Michaels attires and figures. It would, be, it would go great for a remake. Maybe an Ultimate Edition? We have the WWE Legends Elite Series 5 Rick Martel. He sells for around $150 to $200 mock. And if you have them loose, you're going to be getting around $100 to $120, bucks, which is pretty cool. WWE Elite Series 10 Big Show! He's going to be selling for around $150 mock. If you have them loose, he's going to be going for around $60 with all the accessories and in good condition. This figure's hard to find in good condition. Literally. Look at the photos. They're all beat up. The Defining Moments Cody Rhodes. If you have this figure in the box, he sells between $90 to $110. If you have him loose, he's going to be selling for around $70 to $80. This is a figure that got rare very fast fast this is like what feels like a brand new figure and it is really cool because you do have the bruise on there from the cell at the wrestlemania 26 elite ray mysterio mock he's going to be selling for 200 bucks if you have them loose in good condition another figure that's super hard to find in good condition out of the box 70 to 80 dollars got the defining moments bret hart another figure that took a hit after they announced the ultimate edition figure that's going to be coming very very soon very similar attire to this so this figure dropped in value a little bit still sells for 200 dollars mock if you have it mock 200 bucks if you have them loose he's going to be selling for around 80 bucks Really hard to find with the flag. Let's say if you have this Bret Hart with the flag, I'd be selling them for around $100. And the rest of the accessories, of course. Those are some of the rarest loose figures in my collection. There's going to be a separate video only on mock figures, so please stay tuned for it. This video is all my rarest loose out-of-box action figures. Once again, let me know in the comment section down below, what is your rarest loose figure that you have in your collection? I'm curious to see what you guys have. Also, smash a like in this video. This was super fun to make. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bret Alive is signing out.